What's going on today guys, Lego Man 213 here, back bringing you an all new update video. Uh, I know I had mentioned uh, in the community forum thingy there, I posted a thing saying I was going to do multiple videos, or try to do multiple videos. Uh, long story short, um, I didn't do a video yesterday in terms of actually posting one. I had recorded one, and I ended up number one the quality was not good for some reason the so the focusing part it would so like my hands out right now it would focus in on my hand and everything else would be blurry and so when i take my hand out it wouldn't focus back into what was being shown here uh secondly i didn't like the way the video turned out in terms of me explaining things so i kind of just said screw it and didn't do the video but this is the update video that I was originally going to do yesterday that didn't work out. So, yeah. So in front of you, there are some new things. There are not some new things. It's like, a, yeah. Let's just get right into it. Number one, uh, Bugatti. I have the Lego Technic Bugatti. I will be doing a video on that. So stay tuned. Uh, inside, um, I have all of my figures down below. The, well, not all of them, the majority of them. So I've got like the Bad Batch, 212, 332nd, 501st, Doom Squad, Mesa Windu uh, Battalion, Shock, Imperial, Coruscant Guard, not Imperial, excuse me, Imp Coruscant Guard, Wolf Pack, Galactic Marines, etc. So like that's organized, and I've got Mandalorians, Rebels, Imperials. And then up here are the figures that I couldn't quite fit on that which is a 48 by 48 base plate i believe uh so i've got my actual lego bad batch phase one wolf uh my custom rebels wolf and gregor and rax uh, a bunch of other things some imperial stuff and then i've also got the uh umbra arc troopers i got four of those through mercari um but yeah uh, also, I did get a new entertainment center, so I no longer have that basswood shelf that I had made back in high school. Uh, I really did like the shelf, and we still have it. It's just in our mudroom being used. It's just I kind of outgrew it in terms of what my needs were in terms of space. So right now, I've got it set up. All of my PS4 stuff uh, is controllers, chargers, things like that are down there. And then down below that is an extension cord that has multiple plug-in uh, capabilities. That was the only way I could actually plug in my PS4, my TV, the Roku, and be able to charge multiple things if if need be. I can. What I usually do is I just plug my PS4 controller into the console itself and charge it that way. And then on the opposite side, I've got all of my PS4 games, my charger for the PS4 controller, and then I have Season 1 through 5 Clone Wars, Season 6, Season 7, and then 1 through 4 Rebels, uh, two of which are Blu-ray, and then the rest are DVDs. Uh, so yeah, nothing too crazy. I did pick up a Captain Vaughn helmet. This is a Cybercraft helmet. I will be doing a review on that. Uh, that comes from Uzbekistan. It's a very, very long wait time. I believe I ordered it in either December, late December, early January, and it didn't show up until February. However, they send you an, a letter that you have to go, if you don't uh, sign for it at your house or apartment or whatever, it gets sent to the mailbox, post office, or your P.O. box in the post office, and you have to sign for it. But it's a letter stating that, hey, we've sent you, we've processed your order, it's being made, yada, 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 it will be shipped soon. And then I got a, I don't know, like a month later, I got a thing saying it's shipped, and then I was able to track it uh, all the way from Uzbekistan through customs, etc., to the U.S., and then to my house. So it's a fully, you know, wearable uh, helmet, very good quality. I love it. The only issue I have with it is the markings aren't 100% accurate. Uh, Vaughn's helmet, normally, if you look at my Konami Customs one, that is the true representation, and that is Cybercraft. It's the only issue, but I still love it. I love it. Uh, I've got my King Tiger in a Swamp, and yeah. 
So, yeah. Uh, I did get new shelves. These actually I got, so the hardware and the wood I got from Home Depot. And then when I was looking at it close, more like closely, the wood grain color actually matches the entertainment center. It might it might not look like it in, in the camera, but it matches it almost 100% to a T. Uh, this and my desk over there I got through Walmart, uh, Better Homes and Garden, and I ended up being able to match the both shelves very... I, I, I mean, Home Depot, Walmart, and they matched up almost perfectly. So... Nothing too crazy, just the Anthem, Snow Tiger, Michael Whitman's Tiger, Technic Wrecker, uh, the newest rendition of the X-Wing, AAT, Crosshairs, Bark Speeder, Tech Speeder, uh, Boba, sorry, Slave One, the new Imperial TIE Fighter, my OG X-Wing that I had as a kid, I ended up buying it through Mercari. Uh, it came in, it came with the instruction booklet, but the, it didn't come with the box as you guys saw in that video, but I was able to actually build it and have it again, which was awesome. And then I've got the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle, the old New York State, ex New York State DOT tractor. The only thing I got to add, I was looking at the photos again, there's a battery box and then some steps up. I forgot those. I just have to incorporate those in this area right here. Newest 2022 ATTE, Rex's ATTE, and then this shelf, well not shelf, nightstand. I made this out of pallet wood. Um, basically what I do uh, is I just rip apart pallets and then like these boards here for the top are the actual tops of the pallets and I'll just cut them to length and I reuse the screw or the screws, the nails that come in the pallets. I try to salvage those the best I can. And then from there, I use those as the top. And then, for example, like this brace right here to tighten everything up and give this support, I use Torx bit screws and they work really, really well. Um, as you can see, it's nothing major, but it's, you know, it's got my alarm clock that thing that peanut looking thing with the smile is a coin holder change holder whatever you want to call it and that i got from my grandma and that fits there that's a 150th scale uh first gear matte granite and then a komatsu one i believe 150th scale uh motor grader and then the kobe fury that i made and then my my lamp so that gives you guys a good idea of how big this is I don't remember the exact dimensions. It's, I think, 20, 20, 22 inches tall and about 24 inches long. I could be, I could be wrong, but it's all pallet wood. It's very, very sturdy. Granted, you know, it's up against my dresser and my bed, but it's, it's very, very solid. Uh, I didn't stain it. I didn't polyurethane it. I just sanded it smooth and then gave it a natural wood finish and or not natural wood finish just did natural wood and then i also have the dagobus diorama set uh other than that i still have down yonder i've got the republic attack tank uh obi-wan starfighter and then i have dathomir as well so there's those um am i forgetting anything else oh yeah over here uh so this is my new desk uh, again, this was the one I got from Walmart, same as that there. Um, it's got drawers. It has two drawers, one on either side, and that's basically it for drawers-wise. But it, it fits in my little nook area very well. Uh, taking a look, you guys can see I've got my AT-AT. A -AT Grievous, the ATRT, the Bark Speeder, my great uncle Bob's R Model Mac, and yeah, and then up top I have Kobe set. So I've got the Kobe Corsair, Kobe P40 Warhawk, Kobe Spitfire, and then a Kobe Measureschmidt that I painted to be Franz Stiegler's Measureschmidt. And then in the back I have the Kobe U48 submarine. I do have the Bismarck and the B-17, but those I ended up loaning out to the Eldred World War II Museum, 
and I just one I haven't been down there in a while because of work and uh, the horse stuff I do um, but two is I just wanted to kind of get the younger generation into one the Lego slash Kobe-ness of that stuff but also hey like look they make these that are from World War II but they're also toy things so if that makes sense I, I wanted to kind of get the younger generation one down to the museum two interested in World War II and the you know the history if you're wondering about the bulldog though that bulldog is a true Mac granite bulldog that came off of that Mac granite from college once they ended up getting rid of the truck you know they salvaged the motor the tranny all that I asked my teacher I said hey uh, would it be possible for me to get the bulldog off of that truck? You know, it was the first uh, tractor semi truck that I actually drove. Um, you know, it has a Mac E7 engine in it. Well, had and it had a Mac 10 speed maxi torque. And you know, first truck shifting gears, floating them. You know, all that. Gotta have the bulldog. So my teacher said, "Yeah, go ahead, have the bulldog." So that's the bulldog. And then I also have the the granite badge off of the right door and yeah that is that's pretty much it guys like yeah i mean in my closet i've got stuff it's a giant mess right now because i have to do set reviews those are all boxes that i have to do minus the attee but i had to do the bugatti uh the bad batch attack shuttle the tie fighter the uh cologne attack tank but in the back you know i still got stuff i still have the atsts kylo ren starfighter and all that clone turbo tank but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe comment down below i'm just playing some gta 5 for the fun of it but yeah i did want to mention though um i am doing uh, horse riding I do lessons along with I lease the horse uh, so basically when I'm done with work uh, on Mondays I do my lesson and then from there uh, Tuesday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday I ride so I'm pretty busy between work and lesson the lesson and then riding in general but I'm trying to get you guys videos but I figured doing an update at least would kind of give you guys a rundown of what's coming and then i also have another set coming in another technic build another car so hope you guys enjoyed be staying tuned for that and uh, if you guys have any questions or suggestions in terms of what you guys want to see comment that down below if you guys want to see me do actual like individual reviews on figures or sets or whatever let me know i'll catch you guys in the next one like comment subscribe lego man 213 out